Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today I want to tell you about two ships. One just had its brand new naming ceremony and put on quite a show and performance down in the Bahamas, as well as a chance for you to get a sneak peek and a preview sailing on a brand new ship before everybody else. So just a few days ago, we had Pino Cruise Lines have its naming ceremony in the Bahamas with godmother Nicole Scheringer, I think is how you pronounce it. Now she's most famous for, I think she's been on uh, the, the Mask, the mass singer on TV. She's had a couple cameos and other things, but she's best known as a singer uh, from the Pussycat Dolls back in the early 2000s. And she is the godmother because not only is she, she the godmother, she, she's come to an arrangement to create music, music and shows for p Cruise Lines. They are, are very excited about that. No real details on those right now, but they think the shows are going to be spectacular and uh, they want to get into the, into the more of a, a modern groove and have professional singers design one of their shows, which is very intriguing. I'm curious to see how it goes. Now she put on a performance down there during the naming ceremony, didn't just do the champagne drop. She sung a couple of her popular songs and also they brought in Ollie Murs, a very popular singer down there in uh, Europe. And I'm a big fan of Ollie Murs. Uh, he's, uh, I've seen interviews with him and he seems like a really down to earth, nice guy. Uh, I like some of his music as well. So I really wish I would have been invited. But uh, Pino's a, a British cruise line and I don't know if they even know who I am, <laughs> but I wasn't invited. I would have paid to go. Uh, but uh, yeah, Ali Merz was down there performing as well as Nicole. I, that would have been a great place to show. Congratulations, Pino. The ship does look beautiful. Um, from what I can see, uh, I'm told Pino is a very traditional British cruise line. And so that's one of the reasons I haven't been on them as of late, uh, like 10 years. But, well, maybe, maybe with the new ships they have coming out, I might just have to give them a try. All right, now we have a chance for a sneak preview. The Celebrity Ascent is officially setting sail in December of 2024. That's going to be here in Fort Lauderdale before in the springtime she heads back off to Europe. So you're going to be at a sailor starting in December right here. But Celebrity has announced two what they're calling preview cruises. Now the preview cruises are short cruises. One of them is a four night on November 22nd and it sets sails to Mexico to Cozumel. The next sailing after that is a three night on the 26th and it's going to the Bahamas in Nassau. So you can book both and make it a seven day cruise. Now remember, these are sneak cruises. It's the first sailing it's gonna do. It's not taking any passengers across on the transatlantic. So this will be the first time passengers will be on board and that is always a risk. Going on board a brand new ship that has to get into its rhythm and get used to handling passengers, get used to making food for two, three, four thousand people. It takes time to get in sync. It takes time, no matter how many experienced people they bring on board, there's always gonna be new people and they're always gonna need the training and it's natural. So if, as long as you're aware of that and you're not ready to be freaked out or upset about it, then it's gonna be a good time. You're gonna enjoy being the first person on the ship. You can have that claim to fame, if you will. As I sailed on the Celebrity Ascent, I was the first, one of the first passengers on that four night sailing. And you get to 
experience the ship before everybody else. Not much is known about the Ascent. It is basically the same design as far as size-wise as the Celebrity Beyond. Remember, they made some changes from the Beyond, from the Apex and the Edge. Made it slightly larger, changed the uh, suite class area, added the retreat, changed the party, the bar at the back. They made a lot of changes and a lot of them for the better, as far as I was concerned. And again, they have top-notch entertainment. Who knows if they're going to do the same entertainment that they have on the Beyond? We haven't been told. It's still quite a few months away. So they're leaving some of that intrigue. But they're trying to draw some attention with these sailings. Now, <laughs> here's the thing, folks. Um, you can get some prices that are pretty darn good. You can get an Edge stateroom. Uh, like a... You can get the Edge single stateroom with an infinite veranda. That's the veranda that has like, it's like a balcony. There's no balcony you can step out on. It's kind of in your room and the window drops down. For about $1,600, $1,700 US for, and it's a solo cabin. So add your taxes, port fees onto that. It's gonna be roughly probably around $1,800, $1,900 US for a solo person on that four day inaugural sailing. Now prices from that can go up quite a bit, but I do want to tell people when you're looking at the prices, remember the price is averaged out per person because a lot of people freak out when they look down and they'll see a price of, uh, you know, $40,000 per person or something like that, right? <laughs> so here's an example for that is is here. It, it's the iconic suite, the largest suite they have. And oh my God, oh my God, if you have the money, folks, this is definitely a suite worth sleeping in. Uh, I mean, if I was a millionaire, a billionaire, I would try and book this suite every time I'm on the ship. But like the sun deck alone is gigantic. The living room area is huge. It's, it's bigger than some apartments I've lived in in my life. It's an absolutely, not to mention all the perks that come with sleeping in a, a suite like this with you know, the, the Luminae restaurant and the retreat access, et cetera, et cetera. But it starts off and it'll say it's around $19,986 US per person. And people go, well, hey, they're advertising 75% off the second guest. So that means this, that person, the first person's $19,000, say, say $20,000. Well, at 25%, that means the second person's only $5,000. So that means this suite for two people should only be $25,000. That's not what that pricing means. The pricing is averaged per person, including the current sale. So the actual price for the first person would be around $33,000, and the second person would be around $7,000, which brings you back to around the $40,000 mark. So don't be fooled, look down at that price and double it, because that's the reality of what the actual sale is. A lot of people get confused because they say, wait, it says it's, uh, it's $20,000 but the second person should only be 25%, so it should only be that price. Nuts. They say average per person. And so I have, I've had people saying that, hey, we wanna, a, a, we wanna book a, a royal suite on the Celebrity Cruise Line, and we can see that it's this price per person, but there's, there's a sale, second person off, so the total should be about this, and I have to explain to them, you're reading it wrong. <laughs> you're absolutely reading that wrong, but hey, are you interested in that? Remember, it's a preview sailing. Things can go wrong. Now, really, this is completely different than a ship that has, you know, flow riders on it and has uh, skydiving on it and aqua shows and bumper cars and go-karts and ice skating show, etc. It's a lot different than one of those ships because that's a lot of moving parts on those other ships. A lot of things cannot be ready. 
Remember my trip on the Wonder of the Seas, the first one, not the second one. The first one was the inaugural sailing. And the aqua show wasn't ready. The ice skating show wasn't ready. The show in the theater wasn't ready. And one of the restaurants was closed. Yeah, <laughs> no, we didn't have a great experience. Love the ship, love the design, didn't have anything to do. And so we didn't come away with a great feeling. When we went back, had a great time. The ship was ready, the shows were playing, had a good time. However, this, this one has basically, it's the dining and it's gonna be the shows. And the rest is gonna be service. So they only have a few things to narrow down compared to those other cruise lines. So you have far less chances of things not being ready, which is a good thing. So let me know in the comments down below, are you going to book one of these preview cruises and say, hey, I was the first person to get on the Celebrity Ascent. Let me know in the comments down below. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.